Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best there. Apple just got done with this WWDC keynote. Steve Jobs is on stage for about two hours going over all the new products, all the new things coming from Apple. And I'm gonna talk about that in a second. But a quick shout out to all the people that came to my live streaming on Ustream.tv. Had about 4,000 people, I think, and maybe more that came out and watched the stream. Thanks for coming out. Now let's jump right into it. So the main thing about this whole event is the iPhone, the new iPhone. The name of the new iPhone is called iPhone 4. And what this phone is is a, a combination of really good hardware upgrades plus the, uh, the new software updates as well and I'm gonna jump first jump into the hardware for this new iPhone Now, this iPhone is talking about the camera on the back of it now the camera is gonna be upgraded to a 5 megapixel camera and it's gonna be able to record 720p HD video at 30 frames per second and that's pretty good so it's not the phone the first phone out there to do that but it did promise that the quality of the HD video and the pictures will be a little bit more a little bit better because again they're working with the software and the hardware to combine everything to be a better product and um, so they show some HD video clips at the event itself and people's reaction to the event they were amazed and astonished with it they said it looked really really sharp really clear um, and also um, alongside with the camera on the back now they're adding an LED flash to take with your pictures as well but also they can have an option to keep the LED flash on while you're recording video so if you're shooting video at night you can actually light up whatever you're, you're actually recording there and also with the uh, while you're recording the HD video you can also do a tap to focus which I haven't seen in a, a mobile phone yet so you can be able to tap to focus or whatever you're doing most of the time you can just do that in pictures now you can actually do it while you're recording video as well now it also it's going to have a front facing camera as well and we'll get to that in a second so it's go it is going to have a front facing camera as well um, also it's going to feature some other specs as far as the inside it's going to have the A4 processor uh, which is the same similar type of processor in the iPad right now so this thing is going to be smoking as far as power and uh, it's going to feature a gyroscope and the gyroscope is going to be working hand to hand with the accelerometer, the GPS uh, to give you a better experience while gaming. He did a little demonstration, I think he was playing Jenga and uh, as he drops was rotating around the stage and moving around the stage the phone was following him and uh, the video is not up yet but the people said they were watching it live they said it actually looked pretty cool and it's going to feature up to 32 gigabytes in storage so it's going to come in a 16 gigabyte and 32 gigabytes worth of flash storage and also the battery life is going to be very improved the battery, the battery is bigger so it's going to add more battery life uh, uh, to the phone itself is going to be helpful, helpful, especially when you're recording the HD video as well. And also, it's going to feature dual microphones. So it's going to be a microphone at the top and the bottom of the iPhone now, and that's going to help with noise cancellation. Um, let's see what else here. What else? Here, what else here? Oh, also the design of the iPhone as well is revamped. Now the pictures of it, I just look at the new iPhone. You notice now this little steel band around the iPhone itself. Now what that is actually is, that's part of the antenna system, that's why they're doing it. So the steel band is going to work hand-to-hand -hand with the antenna system to help increase the range and the proficiency of your, your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi connection, your 3G connection, your 2G connection, whatever you need to connect with, it's going to help with that. And that, that goes with my kind of point that um, a lot of the problems that people are reporting with the AT&T network problems may not just always be AT&T because other people who have Blackberries and stuff on AT&T don't have the same problems. It looks like Apple is addressing this issue by making some design changes to help with the uh, the network there and also the back of the iPhone is a, it's a some it's a new type of glass that Apple has actually invented and I know it sounds weird but it actually made a new glass I think they said it's about 30 times stronger than plastic uh, first time ever done before and again that's gonna help the reception as well so the back of the iPhone is gonna be some type of glass but it's not gonna be something very easily break or something like that it's gonna be something pretty sturdy as well um, let's talk about the display or well, not the display but the screen of the new iPhone as well and this is gonna have the highest resolution of any uh, display on the, on the phone right now so it's gonna feature a 940 by 640 resolution on it and they're gonna be calling it this new retina display that's a new name for it and now the retina display again is gonna have the 960 by 640 uh, resolution on there and it just say it looks absolutely phenomenal so reading text or reading books on it looks good the pictures gonna look better the movies gonna look better um, and again they show some pictures of it and some side-by-side -side comparisons to it uh, to like a 3GS and the new iPhone and I have to say it really looks good so that's gonna really gonna help the current develop the current applications that are in the App Store right now uh, plus he said developers will be able to adjust their applications to take advantage of the full resolution but they, he said it looks absolutely astonishing um, so I think that's pretty much everything with the uh, the hardware for the phone so it will come in two colors white and black colors but that's basically the hardware for it. Now let's get to the software. And so the software has gotten revamped in here. So we were talking about the iPhone OS 4. Now they did change the name to iOS 4. So it's going to be simply all together iOS 4 from now on. 
And uh, one of the cool things to added to this, besides the normal things we already saw before, that it's going to come with iMovie for the iPhone. Yes, iMovie. So it's going to have a, a full-fledged iMovie application just for the iPhone. You can add transitions. You can add music from your, li from your iTunes library. And also you can add still pictures to it. Um, you can export it straight to YouTube, straight to your email, whatever, MMS. Um, and it just look, it just really looks cool. And then you're looking at it, you can scrub through it and all that stuff. So the iMovie application, which you can download right now on your iPhone 3G or 3GS, I think it's about three bucks or five bucks. You can actually get it right now. But the 4.0 software update, it'll be coming with that as well. No, not coming with that, but it's, it's, it's available for you. You can actually buy it. So it's going to have iMovie for the iPhone. It looks pretty good. Also, Netflix did announce that Netflix is going to allow streaming. So they're going to bring in an application to the iPhone for the first time. And you're going to be able to stream over 3G and Wi-Fi. Now, 3G, I don't know about AT&T restrictions, whether you're going to want to do that or not. But you have the option to do that. And um, let's see what else, 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 what else. So everything else that he went over with the iOS, uh, iOS, uh, iOS 4 is uh, basically the same thing we already saw in the past keynote. So there's nothing really else new with that. Uh, now, they did show the front-facing camera, and they're going to be bringing that. They didn't announce like an iChat application for it, but the front-facing camera, they said video calling is going to be something kind of a, a new way that people are doing it. So it looks like the interface of the video calling looks pretty simple, uh, and the Apple is really good at doing that. And uh, the video calling will just be restricted to Wi-Fi only. It's not going to be 3G. They said they're working with multiple carriers to get the video calling uh, over 3G. And that's hinting that they're working with not just AT&T, but other people as well. There's something a little note there. Uh, but it's only going to be for Wi-Fi only. Now, you will be able to use both cameras in your video calling. So the front camera and the back camera, you'll be able to switch to those on the fly while you're actually in the middle of the call. And it's just going to be just a better experience altogether. Um, so let's get to all the details about where you'll be able to get this new iPhone. So pre-order is going to start on June 15th. You can be able to pre-order on Apple.com and possibly at and uh, I don't think he said that, but you'll definitely be able to pre-order this iPhone. I recommend you do this on June 15th. And the launch of the iPhone is actually going to be on June 24th. You'll be able to stand in line for hours and get the new iPhone out there. Uh, again, it's going to come in black and white colors. And as far as the update for the iOS 4, you can be able to get it a few days early. So on June 21st, you're going to be able to get the update for the iOS 4 for your 3G, your iPhone 3G, your iPhone 3GS, and your iPod Touch. And another cool thing is that the update for the iPod Touch is going to be free this time around. The last two times that they gave updates out there for the iPod Touch, you had to pay $10, but now it's going to be free. And also they had a new accessory there they announced. They're actually making the, they're getting it to the, the case game. So they're making a new case for the new iPhone. It's called Bunker. And I just have one picture of it here. Uh, it looks it looks good. Again, I haven't seen the, the whole case of it, the front of it. We'll see more details about that. But they're making a new case called the Bunker. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the whole event. They didn't talk about any other software. They didn't talk about any other products. They just stayed on the iPhone. They hit it really hard. And that's what she said. But um, but it looks like a, a very good update for it, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. So we've got the, res the display, the retina display, uh, the camera, uh, the front facing camera, iMovie, the A4 chip in it, the gyroscope, the dual microphone, the steel around antenna to help with the antenna, Netflix, FaceTime, that's the name of the, um, the uh, video calling there. All these cool things are on it. And the price of this new iPhone, again, it's going to be $199 for the 16 gigabyte version and $299 for the 32 gigabyte version. So... Uh, and the 3GS is going to be dropping down to 100 bucks. So who's going to want the 3GS anyway? So again, you can check your uh, check to see if you're eligible for an upgrade. I think they said if you were, um, if your upgrade comes fall between the rest of the year 2010, then you're going to be eligible to get the new iPhone for the prorated prices for the 199, 299. And uh, so I'll put down the link how you can actually, I forgot exactly what you need to type in, but you can actually check your el eligibility to upgrade to the iPhone right on your phone itself. And I'll put a link down below to show you how to do that. But anyway, this is the whole event. And if I missed anything, uh, I'll make another video for it. But this is pretty much a recap. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm really excited about the iPhone. Stay tuned for more details. And I will catch you later. Peace.